Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you the offsets advanced element inside the Embroidery Studio E4 program. Um, I've already got um, a object on my screen here in oval with the tatami stitch fill and um, as I, I can click on this fill and navigate over here to the advanced offsets um, as I left click it's going to give me a box on my screen here and here you have um, multiple options here as far as going in and um, if I want to just create just an outline I can deselect the create offsets here and choose my stitch type here that I'm going to use for it satin column C I can choose my color here as well and all I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to also going to go in I'm going to adjust don't need these right now minus 0 0.10 from the distance from the outside and I'm going to click OK and it goes in and it adds a border uh, around my image here and so with this border that it adds around my image of course I can go in and edit this if I uh, navigate to my select tool um, and I can go into specials here under my properties and I can increase the size of this by clicking on my arrows or I can go in and I can decrease the size of this by going down on it also so that uh, will allow you to do borders around objects that you create uh, on screen okay um, I'm going to delete the border here and I'm going to go back this time what about uh, multiple borders for offsets I can select my item here go into my advanced offsets here this time I don't need to create just an outline but I want to create offsets from it as well so I'll uh, partition these or space these out uh, 0.5 you okay. And I have a choice here also to choose multiple offsets that I want to use for this. And in doing this, I can go in. Here's my spacing from the edge, the distance from the edge, basically. Um, my object type that I want to use and my color. So I'm going to click my plus sign here to add five borders here. For the first one, I'm going to select here and I'm going to choose a back stitch. Um, let me change that to a uh, column C that'll be red the second one here that I choose is going to be a back stitch okay and the color for the back stitch we're gonna make this blue uh, for the third one we want to choose a motif run for the third one and for the color for that we'll choose green for number four I will choose a stem stitch for this one and the color will be for this one make that one gray and the last one, uh, this one here basically, I'm going to make this one just a regular running stitch. Okay. And the color for that one will be this color here. Okay. And so we have our object types and we have our spacing um, from the center. And um, so we're just going to go in and add these borders or these uh, offsets here to our oval by clicking OK and as you can see based on the distance that I place them inside the um, the border tool here um, it laid them basically on top of each other here just like this now you can control this by going in of course and as far as the distance from the edge of this, you can go in and I can make this 1.0. Like this. As far as changing that one. And I can make this one 2.5. 2.5 for this one this one I can make this 3.5 this one 4.5 and this one 5.5 so as I go in from this one now and I click OK with this it's gonna go in and it's gonna add those 
additional uh, outlines here around the outside here based on the distance that I set for them inside the advanced offset tool. Uh, it's a really, really nice feature inside the software uh, where you can go in and add these borders actually as close as you want them or you can space them out like I did here. Okay. And um, so with this, again, just a, just a wonderful tool that allows you to go in and set uh, and add borders around existing um, if you have just fills like I have here um, and any type closed shape you can actually go in and add those borders with those as well now um, something else that you can do with this is also is um, you can go in I'm going to kind of going to undo these take it back to, to the uh, oval on the screen here now what else you can do with this is if I go in and I um, right click and do a quick clone of this and drag this one on top like this now what I could also do with this is I could actually go in and add a border for these as well now when I go in and do this one see because I have this one underneath this one on top here now um, this particular feature inside the software is uh, is not in the offsets basically uh, and it's called it's going to be under a range and it's called remove overlaps okay and so that is not in uh, the offsets advanced actually uh, but because I have these objects on the screen overlapping each other I'm gonna go in and use it here real quick I'm gonna remove overlaps and what that does it, it just goes in and this re remove overlaps tool is under the auto shaping which I'm not doing today but uh, again I just did this just to break those um, apart so that it wouldn't stitch so far to the inside so I'm gonna select both of these and now I'm going to go into my advanced. Now here, when I go in, I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't need them. So when I go in and I choose to create my outline for this, as I click OK, it's going to actually go in and add the borders around the outside. Now, isn't that cool? And so there's a great tool inside the program to be able, it uh, goes in, it already opens that up so, so that you don't have to cut those using the knife tool. And it's just a great tool inside your software uh, to be able to go in and um, add multiple borders around things and uh, just break those apart. Now another very great tool that you have inside um, the software here with using the same tool of the events, um, you can also go in and what if you had uh, some text? I'm going to right click here. I'm going to type in type in a word here and I'm, I'm going to choose a font for this. create text and we'll choose a different font for this we'll choose one that's more user-friendly and let's see what do I like I like the hobo font there are you here we go so we got the hobo font and I'm just gonna go in going to increase the size of my lettering on the screen so let's say that you have um, a bathrobe or a towel uh, or uh, something a uh, beanie cap or something like that that you need to stitch something on like this now another another feature inside the program under the uh, advanced um, outlines as well is the ability to do what we call a backfill okay this is the way it works um, as I select my lettering on the screen I'll click on my offsets here now so what I could do with this is I can actually go in um, and create an offset for this and I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose 1.5 millimeters to the outside of this and I may even go even further let's do 2.0 and so I'm going to select here complex fill 
okay and I'm going to choose a color here and let's choose blue and so with this now um, this distance that's going to actually stitch out from the edge of this and I'm going to click OK and what that did basically was create a fill okay and with this fill all I'm going to do is select it here I'm going to go up top and change that to a to Tommy stitch like this or I'm going to navigate over to my motif fills and click on the motif pattern here like this and all I'm going to do is move this fill to the bottom okay and so on my bathrobe and this is called what we call a back stitch okay um, you can use this in the place of Solvi okay and um, and the only thing is this back fill here needs to be the same color as the background fill and that means that uh, the background fill here um, of course if it, if it were white I would just select it and choose white and um, it would be the same color as the back as the as the garment okay and you would stitch the lettering on top of it and you could always go in of course and in your pull comp and do an adjustment here for your column width I'm gonna change this when I first click on it, it's gonna be pretty uh, it, pretty immense when I click on it but I'm gonna take it down here to 0 0.10 okay and I can increase that in 5% increments to make that a little bit thicker and so uh, again it's gonna stitch the back fill first and to flatten the garment and then it'll stitch the letters on top like you see here okay another great little tool um, that you can use with the um, advanced offsets here um, thank you very much for your time and as always please join us at www.wilcomamerica.com thank you thanks for watching for more product information visit www.wilcomamerica.com to reach our sales staff, call 877-657-7500 or email software sales at willcomamerica.com.